leadership for the next four years on tough issues and things in which we need to see our state move forward. And I give him my best wishes to Ed, Ed and to his, to his family. I respect the decision of the voters of Mississippi because that's what makes our democracy what it actually is. I want to take a moment and thank everybody that voted for me tonight. We came up just a little short. This is not uh, I lost on me the hundreds of thousands of folks who went in the ballot box and cast their ballot for me. And how appreciative I am to them for taking that time and for getting up, and spending the gas, taking off from work, and doing the effort it takes to go vote. And I sincerely appreciate every bit of their support. You people in Mississippi on both sides of the aisle, both Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, represent the good parts of our state represents a good parts of who we are and I will always be appreciative of that. I know that you're as disappointed tonight as I am. Adelaide Stevenson said it uh, hurts too much to laugh and I'm too old to cry. So I understand what he meant. I understand what he meant. But this campaign was never just about me and I tried to make that clear in the 11 months we've been in this race. It's not just been about me. It's been about Mississippi as a whole. We still have issues that confront our state that are going to have to be confronted that we've talked about throughout this campaign. I thank you to those who have opened up their homes, welcome me in your cities, in your counties, in your towns, and your communities as we've gone throughout this campaign and have been so hospitable, who have been so kind, who have been so bent over backwards to make sure that we felt welcome throughout the state. I want to say thank you to Caleb tonight, who not only took off the who not only took on a campaign, but took on a hard-headed husband in the middle of it. I want to say thank you to my sister Greta. There she is. She uh, she dropped her job in Nashville, Tennessee, and made it all the way back to Middleton, moved just to be here and be part of this campaign. These two ladies have uh, stood with me through thick and thin, a lot of thin, and uh, I'll always be thankful for you, Caleb. Love you, um, This campaign's been tough, and I feel like to a certain degree that we've uh, lived that line in amazing grace through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come, and I think that we have seen the best of Mississippi throughout this campaign. It's been a rough road at times, but it's been worth it. It's been worth it to elevate the issues that we've talked about throughout this, throughout this race. I want to say a special thanks to our volunteers who knocked thousands of doors. Over a quarter million doors. Over a quarter million doors knocked in this campaign, and I thank you for that. So many of you have laid so much on the line in this race to try to do the right thing. And I want you to know I will never personally, personally now, not as a candidate for governor, personally ever forget the work that y'all have done. And I want, want you to know how much I appreciate it. I want to say a very, I'm, I don't get emotional too much, but I can on this, special thanks to our staff. If you worked on this staff, raise your hand. Whatever, wherever you want. I want to say thank you for taking time away from a job, taking this as a job. Some of you went through a ton of things during this period, and uh, I know sometimes I'm a hard-headed boss, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You are an excellent bunch of young men and women, and older men and women, that have made this campaign what it is, and we left no stone unturned, and you don't have a darn thing to be ashamed of in a race in which we have shown exactly what an excellent campaign can look like. And I want to say to the master of, of discipline, the guy who brought discipline to a very undisciplined candidate, Ron Owens, where are you? Ron came my brother, and I want to say a special thank you to him. To all of those who have put their hand on the wheel for this race, I want you to know how much I appreciate it. I want you to know that I will carry back with me the rest of my life the honor that you've given me in not only your contributions, helping us raise money, helping us host events, 
driving all across the state with us, doing everything you could do to try to help make us successful. Not just that, but the fact that you have given the most precious thing that somebody can give, and that's their life, that's their energy, that's their time. And I will never, ever forget that. Tonight's a setback, but we're not going to lose hope. We're not going to lose hope. We're not going to lose hope. Because this campaign elevated issues that had to be elevated in Mississippi. It had to be elevated in Mississippi. Medicaid will be expanded at some point. It will be expanded at some point. And 230,000 working people will get help and you will have played the role. You will have played the role in that. You will have made a difference in the life of all of the reporter of the people. And so from my heart to yours, and as I said to not only the hundreds of thousands of people who voted for me, look I appreciate that, to the hundreds of thousands of people who voted for Tate Reeves. Uh, this is bigger than one man. Partisan politics that rips people apart is what's wrong. It's not what's right. <laughs> and so we can lose this What a great crowd here tonight. And I want to thank every single one of you. And I got to tell you, this victory sure is sweet.
This victory actually is more of a, it's more than just who will occupy the governor's mansion over the next four years. It's really about the direction that our state will go over the next four years. Mississippi has momentum. You've heard me say it a thousand times throughout this campaign. But Mississippi has momentum, and this is Mississippi's time. You know, we all now know what it means in a state like Mississippi when you stand up to the national liberals and when you stand up to Joe Biden. They threw everything they had at Mississippi. Thirteen million dollars they threw at Mississippi. But guess what? Mississippi did not break. Mississippi did not bend. Mississippi is not for sale.
in California and New York and Massachusetts and Washington, D.C. real interested in Mississippi to the governors of those states. I'm coming knocking on the door.